Hello, my name is Dale Dufay. I'm going to do the narration of this video for Mary Hall. And I'm going to pause it right here. I'll show you what's going on here, what we're looking at. Uh, this is the ISS live feed. And this particular camera is pointing towards the Earth. And up here we can see the, you know, the orbit of the space station, which generally is from west to east going with the orbit of the Earth. And we can see right now, currently it's over the Middle East going along the west coast, or the east coast of the Persian Gulf, right in Iran here. And it's gonna go over to the Gulf of Oman and over the United Emirates. So a lot of these, any lights or anything you see going from right to left is generally on the Earth, like city lights or storm systems and whatnot. Uh, because uh, the space station is going from left to right at 16,500 miles an hour, even though it's with the rotation of the Earth. And here we can see uh, it's at, in the nighttime, and it's going to go into the Terminator uh, into light. And we can see here, it's, again, it's over to the Middle East. And the camera is generally behind what the this shows here. So... You know, it's basically behind it a little bit. So we will see city lights and everything, but I want you to pay attention to an object down here. This might even be it here. But anything that's stationary in the screen, besides any, like a lot of these spots, these red spots and blue spots are always there. They're on the camera lens. In fact, when, it, when it's on the dark side of the earth, sometimes that's, you know, like over in the ocean even, this is all you'll see. And of course, when you go over a large city, like here, you will see the city lights. Uh, but these lights are always stationary on the lens. But there are some that are obviously moving in relative with the space station. So you know that these objects are going as fast as the space station. So let's uh, get the camera, the f video going here. And again, I want you to pay attention uh, once it passes this large city, this is a city in Iran. This could even be in Iraq. Again, the camera's usually behind what they're showing here on the map. Uh, so, but there is an object See, it appears. Again, see, see these colorful dot, you know, red and blue and yellow. Those are just part of, on, on the camera. There's nothing anomalous about them at all. But these objects going from right to left are lights on the earth so it can be kind of deceiving but look at this object right here uh, that's obviously not one of those stationary lights you can see it kind of pulsating a little bit initially and then it's about the same size but you can see all the lights that these are lights on the earth going from right to left uh, but this object starts getting larger and it actually goes up the screen and kind of arcs like this uh, but look at it getting larger there already uh, this is a really good capture because it shows this thing is immense. I mean, it must be miles wide because these specks, like say this speck here is about a mile wide, that speck on Earth there, uh, just to give you an idea of scale. But this thing is much larger than that, and you can actually see it rotating counterclockwise and as, as it's pulsating the light. Here's another one here that's flashing. Those little flashes up there were lightning strikes. But this one here is another object. This in and of itself is uh, remarkable. Uh, but this one, you know, is the star of the show here because it is it is huge. This one here is, you know, uh, these are obviously between the camera and the surface of the earth. Uh, so these are very large and they're going as fast as the space station is because they're other than their movement up and down and kind of arcing, they are going relative to the speed of the space station, which again is in excess of 16,500 miles an hour. Uh, but look at the size of this thing as it's, you know, coming up the screen here. It's go going the same speed as the space station, rotating counterclockwise. And uh, we can zoom in later on it. And you can actually see objects going uh, into it and exiting it. Uh, again, these are all lights from the ground, and this is a uh, part of the space station here that's always there. This is a solar panel, 
which adjusts accordingly. And it's obviously capturing the sun before the sunlight reaches the surface of the earth because it's 265 miles above the surface. Uh, and these items, these unidentified objects are captured usually when it's reaching the terminator into day or the terminator into night. Uh, like this object could be under the space station when it's on the dark side of the earth or the light side of the earth and you wouldn't see it. Uh, because it only seems to be during the Terminator when the lighting is just right that these anomalous objects are captured. And it's not every time it, it reaches Terminator either. So these are very difficult to capture these and you got to really hand it to Mary. Again, this is uh, probably a city in the United Emirates. Uh, as you can see it going through into the Gulf of Oman, into the Indian Ocean, the space station. But this object remains with it and kind of veers up. To, it actually exits the top of the screen. Uh, this is about a six minute video, uh, which clearly shows it. This one here already exited the screen. It was over here. It has kind of a arc in its uh, motion as well. So we know that this couldn't be another satellite or anything uh, because it wouldn't be going the same direction as this space station uh, and also kind of going, veering above, on top of the screen. A satellite would either have a north or south orbit or an east, you know, west to east orbit. And not many of the satellites are below 260 miles. There are some, of course, but this again is, uh, it couldn't p possibly be a satellite or obviously airplane or any other uh, aircraft that we're aware of. This thing is huge and it's going very fast and it's rotating. Uh, let's, take, let's take this time and zoom in on it right now. See its rotation as it's pulsating. It almost looks, sometimes looks like two objects as it's rotating. And see here, see that thing going into it and coming out of it right there. See that? And then uh, it seems to, the light seems to get brighter when objects go in or out of it. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But this thing is very, you know, unique and very anomalous indeed. Uh, but you can see it's clearly rotating and pulsating. And it's a very, very, very big. So yet another excellent capture by Mary Hall. Uh, you know, that's just, because it takes a lot of monitoring. Again, you could watch this thing orbit. It only takes 90 minutes to orbit the Earth. And you can go, you know, even in one of reaching Terminator line into the daylight or into the night, you're not going to see these objects every time. So it's a very uh, incredible catch by Mary Hall, yet another one. Again, this one that was over here was incredible in and of itself. So let's, let's kind of, I'm going to go zip backwards now. And, you know, right there is backwards. You can kind of see the arc, arc of it. See that? It just arcs. We're going forward backwards. I mean, this is forward, sorry. This is backwards. But you can see the arc forward, backwards. And you can see the arc of it. You can see, oh, also this one over here, you can see it kind of arcs as well. See that? Uh, so we know these are not satellites or anything. They are unidentified objects that Mary seems to capture, you know, on a pretty regular basis. Again, it takes a great deal of monitoring hours and hours in fact, it could take days to capture this. Uh, this was captured on November 11th, about 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so no, we know that was well after uh, this the crew exited, you know, went returned to Earth. And um, we know the supplies and things were pretty recent, but this couldn't have anything to do with it because this is well afterwards. So this couldn't be a satellite or part of operations of the space station. Uh, this is obviously an unidentified object. Again, these here going from right to left are objects on the Earth. That, I mean, that's not to say this is not unidentified, but you generally, when you see it stay consistent movement from right to left, it's generally objects on the Earth. Uh, but this is over the Indian Ocean, so who knows what those are. Uh, they could be fishing lights, but uh, I kind of doubt it personally. So anything over the ocean is going to be, you know, pretty anomalous for the most part.
but again, we can zoom in on this thing. Let's, in fact, let's take it back uh, to the early part here and zoom in on it uh, right away here. We can get an idea of its action. You can see it pulsating and rotating counterclockwise. This thing is fascinating. Look at this thing. It almost looks like it's going to split, actually, and then it pulsates and gets large. And again, sometimes you can see things, objects entering and exiting it. Uh, I mean, look at that. It's almost it's as bright as the sun there. Uh, so let's zoom in. This is the closest we can zoom in on it. But look at that. Isn't that something? Yet another great capture by Mary Hall. Uh, see, look at this object coming into and, and focus and leave. Sometimes 